Bollocks, yeah. yeah. And Love is on 2H. Uh, well, I don't know, I think Love is Uncle Dean. Bollocks. Ah, okay. Yeah, but me and Dean are bl blood, so it's a bit incesty. I said Dean, you punts! Well then, it's not, it's not a bit interesting. You would know, wouldn't you? <laughs> no, but you do it. I don't want you to Fucking hell, then, Plover, the way this is looking out, mate, you could get a win. Mm, yeah. Fury, you know, stands in front. Yeah, he'll probably punch somebody off, let's be fair. Oh. <laughs> now. Does he fuck? Dean Bailey races a Wednesday night. <laughs> you know? <sighs> Fucking Jesus. No, all I need. Da -da 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 -da. Jamie, where are you? There you are. Well, I've done. He'll be playing FIFA until five. No, it just, just says he's in the hubs, which means he's not actually doing anything on FIFA. Oh. <clears throat> where is he? Ooh. Right, there we go. Get this. Cut this Oi. a bit. Fucking dipshit. Who you calling dipshit? Jamie. Oh. I thought you were calling it me. <coughs> Excuse me. He's getting a bit of a... He's cutting it fine most weeks now. He did it last Tuesday, he did it to Dan Thursday. He's doing it again now. Yep. <coughs> he only commentates He can't because he can't race. Probably lags out. He don't want to race, he only wants to commentate for some reason. He wants to beat you, man. He wants to be better if uh, then summer. Mate, the way he's gone off this season at times, it's as if he has tried to take over from me and Dan. Yeah, I was watching um, one of the races the other week. Oh my fucking lord. Straight over, Dan sat there talking and then five minutes later he's talking for about 20 minutes. Won't let you get a word in. He's online on PS4 now. I might. Um, I'm not going to join yet, but I will be in, so you can start it. And um, you see turns you. out, Matt. Yep. I've been doing the setups all wrong. Brilliant. Um, I need to go. I need a poo before I shit myself. If Jamie joins, tell him to start a party. Yeah. What did you do wrong, Dan? Um, <clears throat> so there's me thinking they're like GTs. And yeah. trying to set it up to make it as soft as possible. And actually, touring cars are meant to be as stiff as possible. You oh. silly bastard. Shut the fuck up, Liam. What are you gonna do? Knock you out. Fucking do it, eh? Actually, better yet. I'm gonna do this, just because it's easier. Yeah. I've muted him now, I can't hear him. Ah, oh, just wasted time and energy, innit? I'll just start working at your local Asda and then you can meet me outside Asda now. Did oh, Jay did do something with that session? Because you sent me three invites and all of them, when I pressed join, they said the session is full or no longer available. No idea, mate. I don't know. You didn't do anything to and it. Then, and then at the end, it was in the public lobbies. Don't know. I don't know what it was. 
Like, I joined no problem. People were joining no problem. Like, it was uh, an open session. Right, there we go. That's Weird. Fun. But okay. Classic touring cars. Ah, uh, not touring cars. Project cars is what I meant. Classic project cars with the touring cars. <laughs> Okay. That's the man who signed up. Says the one who dropped out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, mate. I, I'm not a thick cunt. Oh. I can't hear. I can't hear him now. That's why I fucking blocked him. <coughs> um. Oh, what no. round is this? I'm fucking ripping me shirt. Hi, Rob. Okay, Rob. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to my channel, uh, we're going to attempt to go live here um, after a couple of internet issues that I've been having and lagging, um, I'm going to try my best to stream this, if it starts lagging out again then I will have to resort to um, <coughs> possibly not streaming race 2, so try and do the best we can, but uh, <coughs> But we're not lagging out too much. I did do an internet test before. So, fingers ah! crossed we can get through tonight anyway. Without lagging out. So, yeah. Best of luck. Let's get uh, Empire back in. Also, Matthew's there as well. But uh, he'll be disappearing off very shortly. I don't even know if he's back yet. Well, then, now, at least if you hit me, I will be able to watch it from your POV. <laughs> I won't touch it. You're that quick or that slow? That's slow. Yeah. I'm that slow. That's, that's <laughs> Alright. Oh, Dan, he's such a queer boy. La 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 la. That's everybody right. watching my stream. That's Matthew. Evening. Right, best of luck. Cheers. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the party as well. Oh, Go what? James. Hello. 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 Keegs is in hospital. Oh, why? He's had another fit. Oh, bloody hell. Hmm. So. Yeah. Hmm. That ain't good. Dean's gonna. Dean, no, no, Ray, no, not a, not a chance. Uh, Dean's gonna try and join for race two when he's back, just to fill the grid up. Cause I think we've got ten drivers. Alright. I think Leah might be joining to make it eleven. I'm not sure. Alright. 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Simplay Motorsport here for rounds... Uh, I can't even remember what round it is, Jamie. Rounds 11 and 12 uh, as we head into this one. Apologies for the slight little delay. Um, we have to bring a bit of sad news tonight. Not really too sad. Uh, as far as I'm aware, he's okay. But uh, Lucas Roth, a.k.a. Keegs, will not be participating tonight and will more than likely miss tomorrow night. Uh, he's been rushed into hospital. So we wish him a speedy recovery. And all the best wishes to Keegs and to his family, which means Welshie will also miss tonight. We hope to see at least Welshie out there tomorrow and hopefully can have more of an update for you guys as and when we know the situation. But we do wish Keegs a speedy recovery and all the best wishes to his family. Not the way we wanted to kickstart tonight, but I'm joined as always. I'm Matthew Duffin, joined as always with Jamie Brazier in the box. And Jamie, obviously with the sad news around, it's a shame to not have the uh, the Welsh guys out there, the, the, the Scottish boys, the Welshies on the track. But uh, uh, the news to hear that he's OK is, I suppose, uh, at least one of positive uh, situation at the moment. Yeah, that's the best news that we want to hear is that Keats is OK and hopefully he can come... Hopefully he'll he'll be back home soon. Um, right as rain. Hopefully so. Right then, Silverstone National is the track for tonight. Around eleven and twelve for these guys to tackle. We're down to 162 points left in this championship fight, and it is Fury who leads it by six points from Cobb. Dan is 13 back with J W R W S R C J 19 back. Nick the Villa, John Boy, and Gary really pulled themselves last week into contention. Only 39 off the back is Gary. 131 is seventh place. Craig E then in eighth with Smoky Devil, ninth, and Plava tenth. Walsh eleventh and Lucas Roth in twelfth with Master down in thirteenth. Master still on the house move at the moment, moving into his new house, so he's not here tonight. Monkey Boy 14th with Bryn 15th, DJ Phil 16th, that Buzzy Boy 18th and Andy bringing up the rear. And there's no DJ Phil, no Bryn, no Buzzy Boy yet. Buzzy Boy did say he was running a little late. Um, no Monkey Boy either. So hopefully them guys can get in just to fill up this grid a little more. But 10 cars, Jamie, around this Silverstone National track. Yeah, so it's very close. Um, Silverstone International, sorry, Silverstone International. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, a, it's not a very long Long layer, and most of most of it's straight. I think there's about six corners. Yeah. Got maggot got maggots, then into Beckett, then down onto the Wellington straight, then the final complex, and that's pretty much done. You got that. you got Cops Corner as well, which if the Red Bull boss Christian Horner says you can't overtake at Cops Corner. I beg to differ tonight because I reckon we'll see a plenty of overtakes tonight. But Jamie, six six corners around here. What you got to do around this Silverstone National Circuit to be good, be at your best. Uh, just, get, just be in the slip, be in the slipstream at all times. As soon as you get out of that slipstream in these cars, you're you're a bit out of luck. At the minute, fury oh, now you know, just come out of the pits. But yeah, slipstream is a major thing around this track. The hundred liters of fuel, I don't think, should do too much of an impact as it did it mm. as it did at Snetterton. One there's thing, not that many stop-start corners around this track. Yeah, exactly. One thing we do need to check is we can see Jay's on the 100 leaders. What about Dan Cobb and Fury? Dan, Dan is. is, yeah. Fury, Fury is. is and Cobb as well. And for Fury here, he's kind of kind of compromised himself. You see there with Dan and Cobb and, and Jay, all down to 96 litres already getting the laps in. Fury's just come out of the pit lane, so he is going to be running heavier later in this session, whereas the Astra and the other two Megans will be a lot lighter in this session, meaning that for Dan, for Cobb, for Jay, they can run that little bit easier going in to this race. Uh, good evening to Smithy in the chat, Pierre Motorsport, Fury's granddad, and Dean Wusaki, and again, uh, you know, Pierre and Fury's granddad in there as well, saying get well Sue Keegs and hope Keegs is okay. It is a shame we haven't got him out here, but it's Nick the Villa currently on provisional pole, half a second in front of the man on a bit of form at the moment, Gary 131. Been outstanding in recent weeks, Jamie. Yeah, he has. He would have had four wins. If only he could calculate how much fuel he needs in his car, but he's got three... Yeah, he's got no, sorry, not four wins. He's got two, got two wins. He would have had three if he calculated his fuel yep. properly. He's four tenths of pole at the minute. Got, I think it's fourth. It's in race two at Snetterton after uh, after the wet race at Snetterton. Jay tried to stay out, which that was a race where John John Boy and M. Plava pulled thought a very good strategy of starting on the wet tyres. No, no chance of rain tonight though. But yeah, Gary. 
Gary is going to be the man in form, and that BM the BMW should suit this track as it has, uh, as it's got a very high top speed. Indeed, it has. And as Bozzy Boys just got in, so we are up to 11 runners for this first race. And four and a half minutes remain in qualifying. A very short lap here. Dan, we say the BMW, uh, Jamie, sorry, we say the BMW is one car to look at for its top speed. Uh, I, I call you Dan because I alert you to this man, Dan. <laughs> struggling. The Astro, we know, not the best for top speed and really struggling out there at the minute. 1.2 off the pace and still needs to find a tenth to get ahead of Craig E. What does this man have to do tonight? Because he can't seem to get rid of that 100 litres of fuel, can't seem to win his first race, but as well as that, this week he's going to be an even bigger test for him. Yeah, it is going to be, it's going to be a massive test. He's 200 and stuff at the minute. That's not going to put him anywhere and say, they, if Liam can get a lap in, Liam might qualify him. He's going to run a little bit wide there coming onto the Wellington straight. But yeah, but the astronaut having good top speed and him having 100 litres of fuel, it's not... Not ideal for him. I think he's just got to be... It's got to be damage limitation for, for Dan tonight. Just try and pick off me, me so he can. If people go off, just pick, pick up the points and move move on to next week. Because I don't, I don't think he's going to get as high as he did at Snetterton. No, I don't think he is either. He's going to really struggle in this race to get anything out of it. It's really going to be a difficult night for Dan. And he's got a lot of work to do going forward in this one. He's returned to the pit lane. John Boy as well in the pits. Three minutes, 21 left in the session. And that Bozzy Boy out there on the track. Now, we did say that the rule was that if any filler drivers have to run 100 litres, because Bozzy Boy has done multiple rounds this season, he no longer has to run that 100 litres, uh, which I think is fair enough. He's been in the championship more than, more than the likes yeah, of DJ Phil so at the moment. We've not got DJ Phil out there yet. Yeah, so a bit like in touring cars where where a new driver comes in they have to run or they used to have to run the maximum success balance and then from the next race they didn't have to run it so yeah that's the rule as we get DJ ah, in there we go time, just so a Liam message comes, him on the discord <laughs> Liam comes across the line that was an out lap so see what Liam can do he's going to have a distant slipstream from two cars in front and he's got a yeah that's Jay and uh, Nick the Villa yeah, he's got Cobb just behind him as well, yeah. so he's give, given Cobb a nice toe. His lane's gone very deep there. As DJ Phil gets into the session just at the end of qualifying, Cobb makes his way through. Let's also say in the chat a massive thank you to all who watched last week's stream. Got it over a thousand views, absolutely mega push, and continuing to watch the touring cars. What an effort. Let's get everybody in tonight. And if you can't watch it now, make sure you do watch it after us. Buzzy boy, huge slide there. Gets it all collected. Gary can't see him. If you're wondering why Gary's ghosted, it's because. Liam got in the session late, can't be seen by Gary. Dan still 10th, no longer last though, Jamie. But you feel yeah. that with that 100 litres in that race, Bozzy Boy, especially in the McGann, maybe not DJ Phil in his Astra, you just feel that Liam could now maybe take a fight to Dan in th this race, which an extra driver on the grid is not what Dan would have wanted to see. No, it's not. If anything, Dan only wants five drivers on the grid and him finish fifth because then he loses 100, 100 litres for the next race. So, yeah, the more drivers in for Dan, the, uh, the worse off he's going to be. And, say, Liam still, will still get probably two two more laps in, and he probably will. DJ Phil mm, probably not going to get a lap in, so he'll start last. But, yeah, Liam could still demote down, down to 11, because he's going to get the toe of Gary, even though Gary can't see him. Hmm. He will still feel that slipstream. And Liam, 1.4 seconds up. But don't forget, messed Brooklands and Luffield up. And uh, this then could give him an almighty chance at getting round Luffield now. And a good run down the start-finish straight will have improved him a lot more time. So only needs as Dan moves up to eighth then. Exactly a second off the leader, but goes ahead of Craig and then Plava. Puts himself further between him and Bozzy Boy. As Bozzy Boy, look, on the back of Craig and then Plava's time's near enough. A couple of tents he needs to find. Evening to Fury's mum. And she says, get well soon, Keegs, as well. Come on, Fury, in the chat. So don't forget to get this stream shared around with everybody. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, as Gary and DJ Phil won't get any more times in. Gary will start second place, which means Nick the Villa could be on for a pole position in this race, which is which is an extra point, let's not forget. Yeah, at the end of the day, every point matters. I think that is Emplava, Smoke, 
Smokey and Craig all getting a nice toe off one another. Fury's done as well then in qualifying. He'll settle for a P3. So who's coming through Brooklands and Luffield? There's a load of drivers, a good gaggle of cars. We'll stay with Jay. That is Nick the Villa just in front. So does Nick the Villa extend his lead? We'll stay with Jay. Nick the Villa doesn't extend his lead. Jay stays sixth. Dan moves back into eighth. That's Cobb in the background. Does he improve? No, he stays seventh. Then it's that bossy boy to the line. Can he improve? He'd love a bit of an improvement. No no time improved there. So then we go back to the gaggle of cars of uh, John Boy, Craig E, and then Smokey Devil. Smokey Devil currently running in fourth place. Nine tenths of a second separate the top nine here. And Craig E will be benefiting from a lovely slipstream from John Boy. And Smokey Devil will be benefiting from a double slipstream from, um, from the pair of them. So here comes John Boy to the line. Any improvement on P5 just needs a tenth or just under a tenth to go ahead of Smokey Devil. Did he get it done? No, he didn't. Craig crosses the line, stays tenth. And I failed to see where Smokey Devil went there in the end. He stays P4, but Nick the Villa will take his third pole position at Simplay Motorsport on a pole position, Jamie, that could would really mean a lot especially seeing as he's just getting in a good bit of form yeah he is getting a good bit of form and say so he's he's got Gary right behind him and the championship leader Fury's in third but the likes of Dan down in eighth and Cobb seventh J six he's going to gain a lot of points over him if the positions stay the same but this is hearing cars and we know they won't stay the same Indeed. Nick the Villa from Gary. Second row of Fury, Smoky Devil. Uh, row three consists of John Boy and Jay. W row four is Cobb and Unorthodox. Row five for Emplava and Craig. And row six at the back, that Buzzy Boy and DJ Phil. Who are we tipping, Jamie, for this first race? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Nick the Villa, but I think Gary's gonna get obviously Gary's gonna get the ball off the line, but I think from from qualifying, Nick Villa has quite an advantage. At the minute he's got that McGann very hooked up. Who, who are you putting your money on, Matt? Again, it's hard to look past Gary, but I'm going to give a shout out. Maybe Smoky Devil on row two. If the front three with Fury, bless, bear in mind, let's say as well, Fury, we said about running the most fuel in qualifying because he didn't get out there till late. Um, Managed to put it P3. So I'm going to say Fury for this. I fancy Fury to maybe get another win. What we do need to check is Fury, Cobb, Jay and Dan. Fury runs the 100 litres. Cobb, uh, Jay has the 100 litres. Cobb has the 100 litres. Dan has the 100 litres as well. So all good in terms of that. It's nice to see the drivers listening to the rules and make sure they follow the rules. We've not actually had to check or pen we've not had to penalise anybody for not running the right uh, amount of fuel. No, I think the only, the only time we had to question someone was Liam like at Alton Park in qualifying, but he put the fuel in his move back as the drivers are synced up and ready to go. They are ready to go indeed, and here we go then. The lights come on, it's two, three. It's green here at Silverstone, and look at that BMW. You just know it's going to get the better start, and he's going to be in the lead as they come down towards Cops Corner at Turn 1, and you can't overtake it, Cops. Gary's overtook. In fact, no, they're still side-by-side. -side. Look, so Nick the Villa holding his own side-by-side -side through Cops. Max Verstappen might want to take a few notes on how to do that one. As Gary side-by-side -side with Nick the Villa. Smokey Devil already jumped Fiori into third place, and Gary going to look now into Brooklyn's, into, into Beckett, sorry, and up the inside, and Nick the Villa and Gary have already been side-by-side -side for what is near enough half a lap. Fiori's back up into third with JR having some pressure on the back of Smokey Devil and Gary now finally takes the race lead away from Nick the Villa DJ Phil not away well in the background but look at this gaggle of cars in the midfield in which John Orthodubs is in the middle of and Gary now well ahead that is John Boy diving up the inside of Jay and just rubbing doors in and opening the door for an Orthodubs and I think that's Cobb who's just behind Dan yes it is but couldn't get round the outside and Dan's struggling as well as Jay and John Boy manage to find their way back through Jamie yeah, yeah, they do. Jay's, been, Jay's on the inside coming into Cobb. Cobb could be up the inside here. Dan can get hung out to dry. He's got the two Mercedes in the background to Craig and Emperor. Here comes Cobb, but Cobb can't get quite get up the inside. And no, Cobb couldn't do what Lewis Hamilton tried to do. And maybe Lewis Hamilton ought to take some notes from Cobb there and back out of the move. But down into Beckett's they come. Cobb's going to have yet another look. Can he stick the nose up the inside? Maybe just a tap up the rear there as somebody locks up into Beckett's. Evening to Mummy D in the chat. But once again, we are tooth and nail battling here. What is happening out front though? I think Fury has managed to get side by side with Nick the Villa. And here they come, look, down towards Brooklyn's and Luffield. Cobb's going to pull out and have a look on Dan. Fury's going to try and go around the outside of Nick the Villa 
Smokey who gets a little drifty and a bit sideways. That gives Fury a sniff of an opportunity, but Smokey Devil now back into play here. And look at them, Jamie. They are queuing up at the moment. Yeah, they are queuing up. John Boy was having a look, but Smokey Devil had a better run off the corner. Smokey's got, definitely got the better run. He's going to look down. Is he going to have a look down the inside at Cops? He's no, not quite. Not quite there as Dan still coming under some immense pressure from Cobb at the minute. And you're just starting to see a gap as Dan very, very wide there. That is a, an interesting line through. That's a touring car line, I'd say, through Cobb's corner. Yeah. As down towards Beckett, they come. Jay looking up the inside of John Boy once again. The Smoky Devil's a little wide as well. And Jay also having a look. Oh, sorry, Jay's having a look up the inside of Smoky Devil. John Boy was in the background. Jay trying to get side by side as Nick the Villa is pretty much pushing Gary down the Wellington Strait. And look at the wall coming. A gaggle of cars. You've kind of got Liam drifting off in the background with DJ Phil well off in the distance and Gary once again just doing a great job of putting that car where it needs to be did he open yeah. the door there for Nick the Villa no he's just got an ounce of car just enough ahead as he drifts it on the exit of Luffield and into the gravel trap and has to wait for the entire pack to come through and he might get going before DJ Phil gets round but Gary there got a little too drifty on the rear end yeah he did I thought Nick the Villa was just going to have did classic certain car move and just flies the door open, but no, Gary opened the door for Nick Villa and Nick Villa now takes the lead. Fury now in second, he's making devil on the podium. I think Cobb's up the inside of Dan as well. He is at Beckett's and then Plava's looking on the back of Craig and Dan, look at that, doing what Dan tries to do best and tuck underneath, but Cobb just managed to get it stopping time. Now look at Jay once again on the exit, look at Beckett's, having a look at Smoky Devil, he's pulled back in now. And can't get that moved on. So Nick the Villa defending from Fury, from Smokey, from Jay, from John Boy, from Cobb, from Dan. Now is your top seven. Gary all the way down in 11th place. And they are so close here. You really can tell what you said in the in the, in the off air, in the qualifying session. Sorry, the the fuel doesn't seem to be hurting these cars. As Jay fourth, Fury second, Cobb sixth, Dan seventh, but they're still so close to each other. They are, they're still quite, so close to each other. It's just, just the bottom three who just drifted off slightly, so that was a boy Gary with his mistake and DJ, DJ filled a minute. But the, but the rest of them are so close to each other. The top nine, Nick the Villa locks up coming into Beckett's. He does and runs over the uh, exit curb as Jay didn't get the run on Smoky Devil this time and Dan has started to drop off the back of Cobb and he's now got Craig E for company and Craig E and M. Plava starting to gain on the back of Dan and here comes Craig, fancies a look up the inside into Brooklyn's, Dan gives him such a wide berth and Craig E gets it stopped, job done and now M. Plava's going to have a cheeky look up the inside and taps the rear of Dan and that Dan's managed to save it, stays in front of M. Plava but a spin here, and you're right at the back of the pack, Jamie. Yeah, they are. Look, look at the gap that Craig's got already. So Dan Snapper is trying to fend through it. So Nick of Villa's from got quite, quite a big gap for 7 10, considering how close the rest of the field mm. are. He really has. Who's that side by side? I think that's Smokey and Jay again, once again, side by side with each other. I think Jay was having a look. But Smokey just starting to gain on the back of Fury here. You feel that the fuel just starting to maybe hurt Fury a little bit. The weight on the tyres might be what will hurt the, the heavier runners. Look at Amplava. He's got a run on Dan in the background. Look at Smokey Devil at the foreground trying to come out on Fury. And I think Fury has covered that one off as Dan yeah. lets Amplava go. I just I don't think that Astros just got the straight on speed. It's like, like, you, like you said... In qualifying, the Astro hasn't got the top speed. The Mercedes seems to be quicker, but M Plava has gone wide, but he'll have to drive off the corner. Dan's up the inside, but it, as you can see, look at the straight line speed of the Merc, he's gone. Dan's still there. Dan's still up the inside as they come through Woodcut and now tucks back into the background. Gary gaining on the back of that Bozzy boy you see there, and he's going to have a look at Cop's corner. And will Liam Max Verstappen him? No, he won't. The Max Verstappen fan decides to let Gary 1-3-1 goes. He knows it's not his fight. Back to the front, though. Smokey within four tenths of a second of Fury now. And that gap out front just becoming increasingly bigger. And look at Cobb gaining on the back of John Boy as John Boy's trying to have a look at Jay here. So Jay, John Boy, under pressure from Cobb. And Dan will be able to see this up the road and will not like seeing the champion, his championship rivals getting away here. 12 people started this race, which means the top six cannot qualify. 
<laughs> and into Luffield, Jay has got past John Boy. In fact, no, Cobb is trying to get around the outside of John Boy. And has he got that move done? Yes, he has. Great move by Cobb. Yeah, that's a great move by Cobb. Hung it all the way around the outside whilst the other side planted to the inside. And he's got up, got up into fifth place and he, now, he can now go after Jay. He can go after Jay, indeed, as then John Boy, through Cobb's corner, needs to get on the back of Cobb and stay on the back of Cobb. Seven tenths a gap, Nick the Villa to Fury out front. Fury just a little quicker on that last lap, and he's pulled a bigger gap over Smoky Devil at the minute. So Smoky Devil not having the best of laps last time around. Cobb, though, flying at the minute. You look at Unorthodox's lap times. Look, he's only three tenths quicker than that Buzzy Boy. So really struggling, trying to stay in Emplor of a slipstream. He's going to have a bright yellow BMW gain on the back of him in a couple of laps' time. As Cobb, looking up the inside of Jay, can't get that done there and tucks back in behind and has to wait patiently. As Fury's dropped Smoky Devil a little bit here, Jamie, the gap just opening up between second and third. Yeah, the gap is opening up between second and third. I wonder whether uh, Smoky Devil has just made a little mistake and just dropped, dropped a little bit out of the slipstream and just given Fury that that space just to just to have a go at Nick the Villa. Well, Smoky Devil was quicker on the last time around over Fury. And look at Jay Cobb and John Boy pretty much lapping identical as Craig E trying to gain on this pack in the background. John Boy at Jay looking up the inside of Smoky. You've got Beckett's a little bit wrong there, look. And look at the drive that Jay has out of it. Fury's getting the slipstream from Nick the Villa. Dan and Emplovis just changed positions again. So I don't know if Dan got up the inside. He looks a bit further back, though, for me. But I'm sure that definitely changed on the timing screens. Yeah, they both look a bit slow coming out. Coming out of Beckett's and Gary's now within a second as well. Yeah, I wonder if them two have made contact somewhere then. Smoky Devil has Jay and Cobb all over the back of him. Look at this four-way battle here, this tussle between these four. Absolutely brilliant to watch if you're these drivers. And they are slowly creeping on the back of Nick the Villa here. That slipstream really starting to pay dividends as Smokey, Devil and Fury do pretty much identical laps. Jay, Cobb, John Boy, all quicker than the two cars in front. So it is really ebbing and flowing at the minute and the drivers out front setting quicker times and then the drivers behind matching them. The lap later, Cobb up the inside at Beckett's on Jay. Just a little door up wide and a bit of a push. Manages to keep him within the track limits. Oh, another shove onto the curb. And that then gives uh, Cobb the place and the run down the Wellington straight. John Boy is now having an invitation. Look in the background. Gary 131. Job done on Dan. And is this championship over for Dan? The morale he's got to pick up in race two. He has. He's got to pick up in race two. Oh! Yeah, John Boy went. Well, tried to go up inside there of Jay he didn't really that didn't really work it. Fury and Nick Lavilla have got a bit of a gap again well, yes yeah, Smokey Devil I've just noticed is on the back of Fury Nick Lavilla has pulled a bit of a gap so has Fury made a mistake 58-8 so yeah he lost a good half a second and Smokey Devil right back in the mix now with Fury Fury the championship leader Cobb would love Fury to lose another place because the next car Cobb will attack would be Fury if he did get past him Liam has had a mistake somewhere he's dropped down behind DJ Phil and Smokey Devil needs a good run through Beckett's and a good slipstream down towards Brooklyn's and Luffield has he got that run good exit from the corner I tell you what here yeah, Smokey Devil right in the slipstream now really having a look just slowly pulling them tamps down to a tenth and a half now does he pull out and send one up the inside at Brooklyn's no Fury no. covers it but is he going to run wide and keep Smokey Devil now look for the cut back no Fury's got that covered as well just Cobb's closing closing on on these two but this is allowing Nick Villa just to run away a bit stretching his legs out front he has over a second league and that's the biggest gap out front we've had in this race Gary's now on the back of Emplava or gaining on the back of Emplava but we'll just stay with this battle a moment Smoky Devil and Fury who is really starting to hassle the back of that monster's livery car that is Bozzy Boy who is going a lap down here so he must have had another moment look a 131 and he's staying right out of the way and we'll sh and he look he even goes wide at Brooklyn at Beckett's there to keep out the way as well blue flag rules are as normal in the touring cars so you do have to abide by them and move out of the way and Smokey Devil now where is he going to look to make his opportunities a bit further back than Fury this time around and uh, yeah Fury just gaining once again on Nick the Villa so Nick the Villa out front just losing a bit of time on the last lap yeah he is he had a bit of a wheel coming through the final corner oh Jay looked like he was up 
Oh, it is. And Cobb's gone onto the grass, and that's going to compromise his run as Jay now comes out the uh, final corner through Woodcuts towards the start finish line. And Cobb back down into fifth place. The poll at the minute had the vote go in the way of Fury or Gary 131. That poll has now ended for the race winner. And Fury just seems to catch Nick the Villa, then slow back, then fall back into the traps of Smokey Devil. And Smokey Devil's doing the same to Jay. But now Smokey has a 1.6 second gap over Jay and Cobb with them two squabbling. And Smokey Devil, in fact, is within two tenths of Fury. There he is. You just see out front once again. Within two tenths of Fury. Fury's already gone defensive here. Comes back across. And then he's going to turn into the corner now. And Smokey Devil just can't find a way through. Just needs that bit of a run to get his nose up the inside of Fury. To stop Fury from coming back across the track and then turning into the corner. Which he's right to do so. Yeah, he's got to look for a good run out of there. He might have got it. If he can keep in the slipstream and have a look into Cops. Fury's going to Fury's going to the inside. He's going to try and look for the cutback. Andrew Jordan, Jason Plato style back in 2013. A smoky devil like, through Cops' corner. Like, Has I he got alongside a lip? No, he hasn't. No, 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 that camera angle so deceiving there because I, I thought the same yeah. as you. I thought he got alongside but didn't in the end. This is where he needs a good run. Yeah, he needs to kind of go in a bit wide here and get, get a very good run. I think, he's up the, I think he's alongside now. That's Bozzy that they're lapping again here. So Bozzy having a terrible race. I think he's got some damage. Oh, Ooh. just tucking in the back of Nick the Villa. And Fury defending from Smoky Devil as Liam stays right out of the way. Near enough comes to a stop. Yeah, not a, not a good race for Liam. Smoky goes a little bit wide coming through the final corner. Trying to get a better run. He is oh, indeed. As, oh, I think Liam. Liam and Liam. Has Liam hit Cobb there? Cobb and Liam yeah. have made contact. Not sure what's happened. But Cobb's lost out to John Boy as a result of that. Yeah, so I saw Jay get quite close with Liam. So I don't know. Oh, it's Liam. Liam weaving across the track. Craig manages to get through. Now Gary's got to get through. Fury's now got back to within six tenths of of Nick the Villa he's bringing Smoky Devil with him though as well is Fury he's really Smoky Devil really making a good job of this he's not had a race win for a while as Smoky Devil oh what's happened to Ed Plava yeah, oh, he hasn't had contact with Liam has I think he, he has Liam? Yeah. yeah Liam's gone off as well go back, oh go dear back to, yeah go back to the front as Fury ran a little bit too a little bit close to the curve, so he's trying to get up the inside. Fury's got the hardest job of all because he's trying to attack Nick the Villa and defend from Smoky Devil. Yeah, he's really got a hard job. Wants to put the pressure on and get another race win to extend his gap from Cobb, especially while Cobb's dropped down to P6. But what he needs to as well is not going too hard and, and him make a mistake and lose out to Jay and John Boy in this process then as he runs a little bit over the curb, a bit too much. You've got to be steady over the exit curb here at Cobb's. And Smokey Devil once again just trying to come back at him. Smokey's closer to Fury than Fury is to Nick the Villa, but it's not going to stop Fury attacking Nick the Villa late on in this race. The question is, is that, why has Nick the Villa all of a sudden gone, seems to go slower is he out of fuel as they're coming up to lap that bozzy boy and DJ Phil once again here in no. this race no I wonder whether his tyres might just be overheating a bit and he's trying to cool them down potentially so plenty of fuel still left in that car or oh, Fury was very slow through that corner and Smokey almost caught him there's Liam again hopefully Liam can stay out the way as he's on the racing line Still, so he needs to get out the way as he's going to block oh. Nick the Villa. Nick the Villa gives him a tap up, tap up the rear. Is this going to give a chance for Fury? Fury to the outside. Here comes Smoky Devil as well. Yeah, here comes Smoky Devil as well, and Nick the Villa now side by side with Fury. And Fury's not going to. Fury's going to have seen Buzzy Boy in the way there, and he's not going to give it an absolute damn. He wants the race win as he leans on Nick the Villa, and Nick the Villa is now into second place, trying to get back past Fury. So he's been leading this race ever since Gary's dropped it, and a back marker in the way has cost Nick the Villa. Is this going to cost Nick the Villa the race win? This might do. I, Nick the Villa might. Definitely not be happy whatsoever. Nick Villa's going to try and go to the outside. He might lose second. Smokey's gone through on him. Smokey Devil then into second place, and Fury and Smokey now one and two. Fury on the top step of the podium, and Liam causing a bit of dramas all over the place here. As now the race leader is dropped to third place. Cobb's down in sixth, and then Plava had big damage as well. 
So how quickly this has changed? Three minutes 20 left in this race, though. Yeah. Fury from Smokey, from Nick the Villa, from Jay, from John Boy, from Cobb. Craig E gaining on the back of uh, Cobb as well now with Gary in the background looking to take two more places. Cobb in that final spot. But we'll get rid of the 100 litres in race two. So you have to fancy Cobb a little bit in that second race. Yeah, so you probably would have been a bit further up. As Nick the Villa's got back past Smokey Devil, Smokey Devil's run. Trying yeah, to Nick. get a better exit onto the Wellington straight, but is they're going to be side by side. But I think Nick the Villa, no, they're still side by side, but Smokey's actually got the position. Fury has bolted and gone. Have them two hit each other because them two seem a very way back and they both look like they were taking strange lines out of Beckett's. They might have had a little rub or Smokey just, on, just started to go defensive and just allowed Fury to get up the road. Yeah, I wonder so, because Fury has gone then from Smokey Devil, from Nick the Villa. John Boy down in fifth, trying to look on the back of Jay, you see there. Gary got past Cobb. That's the change I saw on the timing screen. So Gary up to seventh place. In fact, no, Craig and Gary have both got past Cobb. Yeah, they've both, yeah, they've both got past. So Cobb will be able to qualify for race two. Cobb will be able to qualify for race two. Craig E won't. Cobb will be able to qualify and with lower fuel. But what that does mean is he's losing more, more points to this man who's about to come up and lap DJ Phil. And with one minute 51 to go, we're still going to get about two laps in here. So do not go anywhere, folks. This race getting more interesting every minute that goes by. That's Gary, side by side with Craig. So Gary... Gary might get this done before the braking zone with the straight line speed of the BMW. And Gary's comeback drive, Jamie, from drop back or dropped all the way down to 11th place, is on. And sixth place, you feel, is the best he's going to get. But sixth place, nonetheless, I'm sure Gary will take that. Gary now cannot qualify. Yeah, Gary cannot, quali cannot qualify. But say without the mistake, I reckon he would be right up the front. Snakey started to come back in Fury a little bit. Yeah, too. Fury into the 59s on the last lap, I'm noticing. We're compared to Nick the Villa and. and, and, and Smokey were in the 58s as Jay's lost out to John Boy Jay did a one minute lap so what has happened to Jay then a bit further back yeah these two need to be careful because there's, there's a lap car one of them is uh, yeah Jay Phil's off so Phil's off he's got right out of the way he's that bozzy boy in front yeah Jay not having a very good lap at all so I wonder whether he's taking a trip across the gravel maybe so is that bozzy boy oh now smoky devils caught the back of bozzy boy and plovers into the pits and I tell you what bozzy boy being a little naughty here yeah he's caught he's caught probably at least half the field out so yeah he needs to, needs to make sure he doesn't do that in, in race two I know he's trying to I think he's been lapped by by DJ Phil. DJ Phil's now up into tenth place. Yeah, so DJ Phil's passed and Plava. Gary's been passed by Craigie somewhere. Mm. So I wonder where Gary got passed by Craigie. Made a mistake. Look, last lap of one minute point three. As Jay is trying to come back on the ball. Oh, that struggle to turn in, that looked like there. So is Jay just starting to struggle on his turning as that is a DJ Phil across the grass once more and stays well out of the way. At least DJ Phil's getting out of the way, although that looks like Buzzy Boy got out of the way there as well. Yeah, yeah, he looks like he's got out of the way. I think this is the final lap as well. It is the final lap then. So Fury coming to the line out the final corner. Fury then looks like he's going to take a race win. Is it deserved? That's the question. Nick the Villa was second and did deserve the race win. You have to say, but Nick the Villa is going to have to settle for third place. Smokey Devil looks like he's going to come across the line in second. So that is your podium three, as close as that. John Boy then is going to come home for a fourth place with WRSCJ in a P5. It's going to be a, 11, a tenth place for DJ Phil. Craig just finished in front of Gary. They were so close as they come over the line. So Gary can qualify for race two. So Craig P6 cannot qualify. Gary P7 can. Cobb P8. He can also qualify and will lose the fuel. Dan didn't really see Dan much in that race as he's struggling at the back of the pack. But again, will lose the fuel. And Plover will finish in 11th. And that Bozzy boy, 12th place. Um, but I'm, I've got a feeling there's going to be a few unhappy people there. Yeah, I imagine there might be a few unhappy people as he comes comes into the pits as the final lap, so not much point of, point of that as the race then finishes. Yeah, we wait then for the fastest lap of the race, and that goes the way of 
58 dead for Nick the Villa. Quicker 68. by Jay. Jay takes the fastest lap of the race. So WRSE Jay. Even though he got fifth place, we'll get an extra point then. And it's more points over his championship rivals. We're going to take a very, very short break. Make sure you join us back for race two, the reverse grid. Don't go anywhere. That was naughty from Liam. Do you see what lap he finished on? No. 16, everyone else is 21. Yeah, that was that was a bit naughty. Just, just a bit. So Fury, Smokey, and Nick the Villa. So Fury wins another race, and that puts him now. On to 28. Mm. Mm. Right. There we go. Oh, fuck's sake. Got to set a normal lobby up. Alright. I don't know what's happened there, but it's not. Not oh, done what I wanted it to do, so I've got to set an on one up two minutes. Hey, Matt, see the, see the lap cars. Yeah. Hey, we know we we we've saw it, mate. Right. Seen it seen it molt <laughs> seen it all race. Hey we make it not to juice up about I think. Yeah, that's uh yeah, we've seen that. We're on that. Um, type progression, real time. That is that. Session start time. Two. That, that, that. Do that. 20 minutes. Current date. Race time three. That. To that. Ah, that was a good video. Yeah, not bad. Not bad yeah. for yourself. That was good rates. Oh. oh, fucking hell. As if it's fucked up. So it's broadcaster. Right. So, Smokey Fury, Jamie. John Boy, Gary, Nick the Villa, and Plava Dan. Ligier confirmed the chassis of Plava for Lamborghini's LMDH. Oh, I don't want to do race two. <laughs> <laughs> I volunteer tribute to change car. Front left, too short. <laughs> Were you just. Was it like going off? Can I. You tired just going off? Like it off and on? It was that hot. I lost half the tire tread. It was just spinning. Yeah. <laughs> so did I. It was me too much to see last eight minutes or something, it was eight, five, eight minutes to get the quite bad. So you had that and hang with me, you had <laughs> and then you had, had, a, had a mobile chicane called that Aussie boy. Um, what were you uh, doing? Well, I don't know. I nearly ran into him twice. Who got fourth? John Boy won it. Yeah. Hmm. Because say Cobb, Cobb hit him, Nick Villa hit him, and Plav. No, and, yeah, and Plav hit him. Yeah. I nearly hot. He was on some. I don't know what he's smoking. No, not Jay, not Jay, not Jay, not Jay, not Jay. Thank you. Thank you.
<sighs> I'll tell you what, that front left was so much easier to control when I was out of dirty air. Dean, read your fucking message. I just couldn't Thank get you. Right, here. right, so how many? We had 12 in in the first race, yeah? Yeah. So. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've still got 12 in now. Who are we missing again? Lay on one of them. Yeah. You could probably hear everyone in the lobby shouting at him. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I was tempted to turn my headset on and say, Liam, what the fuck are you doing? Because he was just like left, right, left. Yeah, right. yeah we've seen that. Right, just go pop to the toilet. Oh, Bozzy Boy and John Boy. Ah, oh, Brin's in as well. Right. Okay. I'm starting. <sighs> that, that, that. Is Dan going to get mugged in this race? Yes. Was, was Dan fuming? Joseph. Oi, Joseph, you naughty boy. I was just a bad bob. <laughs> was Dan there? Uh, yeah, was Dan getting a bit mad? Um, not with Liam, but with the, with his car? No, I was quite quiet. I just... I just was bored. <laughs> <one way>. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Let's just say Nick the Villa didn't sound happy when you hit the back of the room. I'm, 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 I'm taking it, that's why he's not coming in. Mm. I think so. Or he just doesn't want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back then, ladies and gentlemen, to Simplay Motorsport here for round 12 of the season. And with three races left now until Not Kill, it is game on in this championship We've got Smokey Devil and Fury in for a quick chat. We'll get to them in just a moment. No Nick the Villa, so hopefully he will join us a little later on for a quick chat as well. But with 135 points up for grabs, Bryn, Monkey Boy, Bozzy Boy and DJ Phil can no longer win the championship. But Fury leads away now by 23 points ahead of Cobb with Dan now 31 back Jay 40, uh, 32 back Nick the Villa is now 5th place with John Boy in 6th Gary down in 7th place Smokey Devil 8th ahead of Craig E and M. Plava as we've lost Gary hopefully we can get Gary back in uh, M. Plava in P10 with Walsh 11th Keeg still hanging on to that 12th place spot Master 13th DJ Phil goes above Bozzy Boy in 15th Monkey Boy 16th Bryn 17th and Andy in 18th place we've also got a bit of a filler in tonight obviously with Keegs and Walsh missing we've got Dean was hockey now out there on the track hopefully we can get Gary in we're not on the online championship anymore we have had to change it back to the normal one Gary is back in but we'll start then with Smokey Devil and Smokey a race where he was kind of catching Fury then losing Fury then catching him once again uh, but come away with the second place I it's just what I needed, just some solid points. Uh, I've not had many solid points in the last race. Uh, and catching Fury, just couldn't get by him, tried having to get by him, and that just couldn't, couldn't do it. Yeah, very tricky at the end. Fury seemed to put the car exactly where you wanted it to be. Uh, every time I thought there was just a wee, a wee chance to get off the inside, and that the door was shut. And that front left tyre was so hot. 
front left tyre problems then for the Renault Megane round here? Ah, uh, yeah, it's so hot. Especially if you went to the last, the last part of the shoot, like the skin. Uh, coming in there, you just lose all of that. Last cut of laps, just sliding. Going into race two, you will obviously start towards the back end of the grid. Um, and you've got the 100 litres now. What's the challenge for that one? Uh, well, more or less, just sit back and you know what happens in the first, first lap. So hopefully I can just pick off a couple of people in the first lap and see where they end up. Well, we wish you the best of luck, buddy. We'll let you get back to it. All right, thanks, man. Cheers, buddy. And we've got Fury in as well, and it's been a while since we spoke to Fury on the podium in the touring cars, but Fury, uh, a podium that you can be very, very pleased of. Yeah, it's uh, been a bit of a while. Obviously, happy with the result. It was uh, hard towards the end with Nick De Villa and Smoky Devil putting on the immense pressure, and then coming up to the lap cars, we were also getting tangled up with each other. I think Nick De Villa had a bit of tap with... The uh, Bozzy Boy, which gave me the run up his outside into turn one, so I managed to just obviously take the opportunity to get into P1 and just defend as much as I could. Obviously, a frustration last time out at Snetterton, not having the results you would have wanted in the wet, but coming here, your car looks solid, it looked the best of the 100 litre runners. That's got to give you confidence going into the second race, especially now you've extended your championship lead. Yeah, it's giving me confidence because Snetterton, the car just did not feel right at all. The back end was slidey, it was just slide on the brake, and it was not ready for the wet. But luckily, I've done a little bit of practice for this week, and I can say the front left likes to overheat and lose grip, but managing it outside of the dirty air also managed to help me stay on the back of Nick Villa. You'll be on the uh, back row of the grid with Smoky Devil for race two. What can you do from there? Hopefully, don't do what I did in practice, which is get the jump start <laughs> hmm. or get a bog down start like I did at the start of the race. Just get a good start, make the positions and try to keep gaining the points over Cobb and Dan to keep this championship well we wish you the best of luck buddy and uh, go and get him cheers mate so a very happy Fury there Jamie then and he knows that he's had a, uh, a tricky season but a season that uh, is starting to come to him he's now got that get big gap over Cobb in the standings and you do feel that that is really going to help Fury out here yeah it definitely is going to help uh, Fury out here Although with what you said about Fury and Smokey Devil starting at the back, uh, Fury's actually going to be on the rail above because uh, Liam has been disqualified from qualifying. I still think... Did he put a lap time in? Yes, no, he'd, he been, he'd be ninth. There's no ninth place. Uh, he didn't... Uh, there's not, so there's no he, ninth place, so Liam yeah, will be ninth place then. So John Boy actually benefits from that. Cobb on pole from Emplava, from Dan, from Gary, Bryn, DJ Phil, then Dean Wasaki. Dan's yeah, got a lot Dean's, of work to do in this second race, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. I think Dean's had a bit of a roll because you can see the see the roof of his car's all crumpled in. Yep. But yeah, Dan has got got a lot of work to do in this. So the car does not suit this track whatsoever. He's got to make sure he can get the best out of this going into next week. He needs as many points as he can. He's still just ahead of Jay, but only just ahead of Jay by a point in this championship. And Nick the Villa as well and John Boy and Gary all outscored him. So he's, he's slowly dropping down this championship table. Let's be honest, he is in the weaker car, but he's driving it so well on the tracks that it likes. He is. He's, dri he's driving it as hard hard as he can drive it and say say the car's just not not bringing the results as he goes quicker but he doesn't improve on position he's only about three thousandths of him rather Brands Hatch GP next week do we think that could be a better track for him in the Astra um, I don't really I don't really know because with with the Astra the Astra does like to overheat its front tyres and with 
Brands GP being quite a long track, mm. he could overheat his tyres quite quickly, but it'll it'll suit it more than more than here, definitely. As Dean comes across the line, he goes in, goes ahead of DJ Phil's. DJ Phil's now is going to come across the line. Can he improve? No. no. So we're into the final three minutes of qualifying then, and that is Cobb getting a lovely slipstream from uh, from Bryn yes. there, and this is Emplava getting a lovely slipstream from Dan. Gary not too far off in the background, and Plava just in that sweet zone where he's picking up the the slipstream, but not close enough for it's going to affect him. That was a bit of a poor lap. Gary doesn't improve either. I think the next two to come across the line is Bryn and Cobb. As you can see there, look, yes. Cobb really getting closer to Bryn in that slipstream and just probably being a bit better through the corner. Bryn's just upgraded his wheel, so we'll be testing this out for the first time in a competitive race tonight. As he mm. didn't improve. Cobb, four tenths off the in the pole here. Now Dean Wasaki, 100 litres on board his car, coming as a filler for the second race. What can he do? Not really looking to do anything. He's just here to have a bit of fun, I suppose, and, and, and be competitive. He's quicker than DJ Phil, not far off the back of Bryn, and improves by another tenth. He improves again. DJ Phil very wide there. Cobb's gone back to the pits. He can come out for one more lap. And don't forget, Cobb is running the low fuel. Here comes Dan Emplava. Gary now benefiting from a bit of slipstream from Emplava. So we'll see if these boys improve. Dan needs to find a couple of thousands to get ahead of Emplava. That is how close Dan is to Emplava. Does He's find done. it. But Emplava yeah. says, no, no. Coming right back at you with a couple of ten, a couple of hundreds you need to find now, Dan. Gary also improved. He's within a tenth of Cobb. Cobb is in the pit lane. So is it starting to be squeaky bum time for Cobb? Bryn, to the line. Any improvement? He does improve yeah. by four hundredths of a second. Meaning that Dean Wasaki, can you find half a second to outdo Bryn? He's in the last corner now. And what can Dean Wasaki do here? Yeah, it'd be, it, would, it would make, oh, make him quite happy come, going forwards to tomorrow night if he can help qualify his ex-teammate. Finds a tent. Finds another tent, so he's getting into a groove, Dean seems to be, every single lap, pulling away more and more from this man, who Dean is now two seconds clear of, and DJ Phil cannot improve. So we're back to the Dan and Plava Gary battle. And Dan... It's is the second chorus. Dan sacrificed a bit of time here to get in Gary's slipstream, I wonder. He might have done. Has Gary... Gary... Oh! oh Dean's gone Gary. back to the pit. So Dean is done. Corby's done. Gary's 400s off the back of Cobb. And Dan and Emplava now have Gary's slipstream. And Gary is coming and coming. Here comes Bryn once again. There's no Dean Wasaki out there to check after. Can Bryn find an improvement? All on his own. Doesn't find anything that lap. What about DJ Phil? He looks like he's had a bit of a poor lap because he's way behind at the minute. But this will be the last lap of qualifying. I don't think DJ Phil will get another lap in here either. So this will be the first lap to end. So DJ Phil, if he's not up on his time, he's going to end it P7. Gary will want to get another pole position here at Simplay Motorsport. He's currently on 18. He's two behind yourself, Jamie. Yeah. But if Cobb gets pole position, Cobb is on three already, and I want to get onto that magical number four. Here comes Gary then. Any improvement? Did he find the 400s? No, which no. means Cobb then will get his fourth pole position here at Simplay Motorsport. And more importantly, Jamie, that extra point. Why don't you talk us through the grid? Yeah, on pole position is Cobb. Second place is Gary, one free run. Third position, Emplava. Fourth position, Unorth Dubs in his Astra. Fifth place is Bryn. Sixth place, the filler, Dean Wasaki. Seventh place is DJ Phil. First of the non qualifiers, John Boy. Ninth is that Bozzy Boy, Nick the, Vi Nick the Villa in tenth. Jay in eleventh. Craig in twelfth. Fury in thirteenth. Smoky Devil fourteenth. And that's your grid. But Liam has a two place grid penalty, so he'll drop down to 11th so that promotes Nick Cavilla and Jay it does indeed promoting two drivers so a 14 car grid not a 12 car like we had in race one we need to make sure that Fury has got 100 litres on board let's have Fury. a look yes he what does. about Smoky Devil what about yeah. Nick the Villa what yeah, about John Boy not yet oh what about Dean Wasaki Dean he does, does. Yep. So just John Boy to keep our eyes on. It was John Boy who finished fourth. Yeah, so just John Boy to keep our eyes on for the 100 litres of fuel. And we said in qualifying, I hope we've not jinxed him, we said in qualifying how well behaved these boys have done. John Boy just needs that 100 litres of fuel. It's currently tied between Gary and Cobb 
in the vote in the chat for the race winner. Get your votes in. Also, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and hit the bell to be notified. Me and da uh, no, me and I do believe maybe Kieran Argent will be live tomorrow night. Dan Davies not able to make tomorrow night, so it'll be me and a special guest commentator tomorrow night for the pro ams. Jamie and Dan will be back in the box Thursday night, though. Uh, Sunday night, no more F1, so there won't be a stream on Sunday night, but F2s are coming in a couple of weeks' time. Um, and we'll be back next Tuesday. Brands Hatch GP, the final round of 16 drivers, because Knockhill is a top 12 shootout in the championship. So make sure you keep your eyes on that one. John Boy has gone 34 litres yeah, here. Litres. Ah, there we go. Oh, I thought we was going to have our first penalty of the season. Cobb yeah. running half the fuel he's used to at the minute. What is he going to do? Jamie, your tip for the win. Uh, I'm going to go Gary again. I'm going to go Cobb just to be just to split the difference. <laughs> Taking a long while to get to ready up here. Hopefully, hopefully everyone starts. Yeah, someone hasn't readied up here and they'll be running out of time. As we wait then for the lights to come on. There we go then. So all the drivers are on the grid. Yeah, and all the drivers... Up. No, 14 drivers. Oh no, we've lost yeah, P6. No. Yeah, who was P6? We've lost Dean. Dean hasn't read it up. Oh, Gary. We could lose think, Gary here. I think we're going to lose Gary here. Well, it's green and go. And we have lost and Gary, and Dean Wasaki didn't ready up. See, Gary 131, disconnection, Dean Wasaki qualified, but has now disappeared. We're down to 12 runners then, as Cobb leads into turn one under no pressure whatsoever from Emplava, from Dan, and Dan's already got Brennan Jay already attacking the back of him. He has Dean's now left. As I said, Emplava going to the inside. Cobb's run a little bit wide, but Emplava's sideways, a bit of contact, and I think Emplava might... No, What's happened to Dan? Where's Dan? Where's Dan gone? He's off. So what happened to Dan there? A bit of uh, Dan must have got a knock from M. Plava there or something because he's dropped right down to 11th and he'll be fuming with that. Yeah, he will be. Cobb, Cobb's got four, four tips. So here comes Bryn for second. Yeah, Bryn up to second place ahead of M. Plava as Dean's PlayStation crashed and Gary's late. Bryn, Bryn and M. Plava side by side. Green should have Green should have the superior power in them again, but Empire is still gonna be there on the inside. That Bobby Boy run run a bit better in fifth. Yeah, Jay's into the pit, so what's happened to Jay early on is Bryn and Emplava just a little tappy tappy through Cop's corner. Bryn now on the back of Emplava once again. Here comes that Bozzy Boy who's been overtaken by John Boy. Looks to have a looking to have a better second race at least. Here we go. Down into Beckett's. Did Bryn just tap Emplava a little wide there? Emplava's back on the track now. And Bozzy Boy and John Boy, I think Emplava just kind of cut Bozzy into the side of John Boy there. As Dan's back up into ninth. And that's Bozzy Boy and who? John Boy, is it? Yes, I think that's Emplava. It is yeah, Emplava. It is. And, oh, what's up? What has DJ Phil done there? I think, I, I think he might have been trying to avoid trying to avoid um, that Bozzy boy and he's just spun Cobb's got a 2.3 second lead he's gone up, gone up the road he's in he's in Wednesday he's, he's in to next yeah he's already on his way to Brands Hatch that's where he is there's Bryn under pressure from Nick the Villa who will want redemption from race one Dan's now up into sixth as he's going up the inside of John Boy can see that Fury's on the back of Bryn and on the back of Nick the Villa in fact Fury is side by side with Bryn I do believe as they come in towards Beckett's yes Fury up the inside of Bryn and they tap touch round Fury somehow holds it that's a brilliant save for Fury but Bryn Drops all the way back to eight. Oh, Dan! Dan and Smokey Devil in the wall! Dan, Dan's now had two instances there, so he's now going to lose up to Bozzy Boy as well. The Bozzy Boy comes through. Does, I think he's got damage. I think he's, he's got damage. I think he's got suspension damage. Oh, yeah. you couldn't script this. Nick the Villa Fury up into second and third. J Emplava in the pits. Here is Fury. Oh, just rejoins into the side of Emplava. Just That's wants John to make Boy. sure he gives into John Boy. Sorry, just wants to make sure he gives a space pass uh, back. Yeah, Empire, Empire in the pits at the minute. Craig, look, he's going to look for the run on on um, 
on John Boy doesn't get it, and Dan is in the pit. DJ well, that. Gary texts me saying that that is his championship done now. You have to feel that that is Dan's championship done as well, maybe. Fury up past John Boy. Craig E's coming back into this. There's Bryn in sixth with Smokey now seventh. Bozzy Boy carrying on his way. Pieta ahead of DJ Phil. And Plover's a lap down in the pits, but I think he's on his way out and unlaps, him, and unlaps himself from Dan. He's, yeah, he's on his... No, I think it's Dan on his... It's oh, Dan it is on Dan his on his way out. So Plover still in the pits. And Dan, though, nearly a lap down to his championship rival already. John Boy and Craig battling for places. Their names are chopping and changing. And that might be why, as John Boy is off with Fury. And a flash of the lights from John Boy. Did Fury tap him? Yeah, well, well then, it's all chaos in this race, too. Yeah, the gloves well and, tr oh, well and truly off for this race. That's put Bryn back into P4. It's put Craig onto the podium. It's going to put possibly Smoky Devil back in up a couple of places. So when the championship leader needed to stay with Cobb, he's had an off and he's down in fifth and he's struggling to stay with Cobb. And Plava is just coming out of the pit lane. Yeah, so M. Plava's race is well and truly run. He'll be... He's only on, I don't even know what lap he's on. He'll then he'd be on lap two. Lap three, look, he's on lap three. He just started lap three. Dan's only on lap four. Coming round to start lap five, though. Dan stays ahead of M. Plava. And Dan is actually only 20 seconds off the back of DJ Phil. So you would imagine that Dan can try and make that time up. Now, Fury and John Boy, once again, John Boy's got back ahead of Fury. And Fury, once again, trying to have a look at John Boy, but has Smokey Devil for company. Smokey, let's not forget, had an off with unorthodox earlier in this race. 17 people watching. Guys, girls, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified as here comes Fury down the start straight into Cop's corner looking on the outside does he think better of it yes he does he does he's going to look for the cut back but I think Smokey's had an off yep Smokey, Smokey off. off at Cop's corner so that'll promote that Bozzy boy and potentially Jay maybe not Jay because Smokey's now got going again Fury and Fury to... sorry yeah, go on Jamie trying... yeah Fury trying it on John Boy again he's going to try try down the Wellington straight Hopefully, Flash in the background there from Bozzy Boy, so I'm not sure what that was. Mm. John Boy, very defensive on Fury. John Boy is very defensive. These two definitely come to blows earlier. Mm. The top three, though, have got away. With Cobb three seconds ahead of Mick Villa, and he's a further three seconds ahead of um, Craig E, who's five seconds up the road from Bryn. Yeah, and Bryn so, having a better race here. You can see the Bryn's improving and improving, and now he's got the better wheel as well. The Logitech G923 can only make him a stronger driver. As Fury looking to the outside at Beckett's on John Boy, and John Boy on the curb, locks up, runs a bit deep. Fury looking to get underneath him, but can't do so. Just couldn't get the run out of the corner. There is Bryn, but these two are squabbling. These two are squabbling. I think Fury has, is up the inside as he's now passed him on the timing, timing screens. Is John Boy going to try and hold it around the outside? No, Fury has got that one done, but John Boy's going to come back in. He is going to come back at him, but he's at the wrong side for Luffield. Then as they come in, John Boy now looking to tuck underneath, and Fury parks it on the apex. Jason at Palato style. John Boy, though, will want to come back at Fury here. Needs that good slipstream down the start straight. Cobb leads by three seconds. Nick the Villa on the podium once again from Craig E. Then from Bryn, who, I tell you what, he's going from strength to strength this season, and he's just getting better every time you see him out there on the circuit. Yeah, he, here he is, smoking. Smoky Devil, Jay and that Bozzy Boy are in a bit of a battle. They are. Jay's got past that Bozzy Boy. Yeah. Smoky um, and, Devil's got damage as well. And Dan's so, now within 11 seconds of uh, DJ Phil. Sorry, Jamie. Yeah, so Jay's going to be ho hoping that he can get past the damage from again fairly quickly as he locks up. Liam now losing a bit of time. Yeah, Liam losing a bit of time. Maybe that damage just causing him too many problems as Dan and Emplava lapping 
in the 59s then here and here comes Jay on the back of Smokey Devil Jay's car looks immaculate Smokey Devil's bumper hanging all over the place John Boy still on the back of Fury Jay going to try and cut underneath though he's going to look the long way around at Luffield here then and here he goes trying to get the job done 11 minutes 44 left in this race and the season coming to an end look at Jay's run through Luffield though on the exit job done up the inside Smokey Devil doesn't even try to fight that one no, he didn't try to fight that one at all. Jay's now up in the seventh place. Now he's got a massive job to try and catch on to the back. John Boy and Fury a second quicker than Bryn on the last lap so they're starting to just pull him in there is Bryn and John Boy stick it to the back of Fury. John Boy will want to get this job done before Fury starts to pick up that slipstream of Bryn. He will do what and what put that began that monster began under massive pressure that hopefully he can put Fury into into a mistake yeah well Fury had a bit of a lock up there sure something's just changed on the leaderboard but I can't see what it looked like it had either way John Boy still attacking the back of Fury here and Bryn's not going to be a pushover here he's fighting for a P4 in this race so he's not going to give it away easy no he's not for Cobb 25 points Fury P5 at the minute will not want to lose out to John Boy but Cobb will pull so many points back here. He's already pulled one point back because of the pole position. He's going to want to pull a lot more back going into this race. At the end of this race, as it stands at the minute, while she looks rough, Mazda will also not be able to win the title. With 108 points left remaining after this one, you do feel that it is between Cobb and Fury as Jay and Dan have had a terrible second race. Yeah, they have had a terrible second race. If Jay's now starting to lose a second quicker in the pair of these last lap. So if these two keep scoring, Jay's going to be on the back of them fairly sharpish. He is indeed, as John Boy wants to try and get into that top four as well. Here comes Fury running the 100 litres. Both these drivers are for finishing in the top four. And last time around, again, look, just a little bit quicker than Bryn. So just slowly creeping on the back of Bryn. Jay was a lot quicker. Dan, within two seconds of DJ Phil now. So Dan looking to get on the back of DJ Phil. As Bodgy is... Again, I swear down something's just changed it. Liam's in that the pits and gets the time penalty, so that could really help Dan. He does, so Liam's been struggling a lot. He's only got a 10-second time penalty, but it all depends how long Liam's going to be in the pits for. It does all depend how long he's going to be in the pits for. As Phil and Dan should get past Liam then. Liam hopefully will come out ahead of N. Plava. John Boy here gets going. Oh, looks up the inside. He is up the inside now. Fury closing the door as John Boy just had a nose up the inside there. And again, John Boy has to back out of it. Dan really getting on the back of DJ Phil. He's within nine tenths of a second now, and that gap is coming down and down and down. Let's just go back to Dan a second. Here he comes, and, and look at who's on the back of them. It's the race leader. Now, Dan has to get out of the way. It's no GT3 rules here. It is normal rules. Dan has to get out of the way of Cobb. I think he's going to get out of the way here, but he's, he's not. Oh, he's not. He's not. Talk about he's... run the risk of the penalty for blocking, ignoring blue flags. Dan here needs to let the leader through. We saw it with Liam in race one. How bad the Liam let drivers through. Cobb now doesn't collide with the back marker this time round. Although Dan trying to hang around the outside now backs out of it. Dan needs to hope that Cobb can lap Smokey Devil because otherwise Dan is only going to finish ninth. Back to John Boy and Fury, who lapped a bit slower than Bryn last time around. So Bryn's pace starting to pick back up once again. And we've lost yeah, that, that Bozzy Boy. Yeah, we lost that. Lost that Bozzy Boy. But Jay's only now five seconds behind you. You see him and you see the green McGann in the background. There it is. Yeah. He's getting ever, ever, ever so close. Ever. Ever so close indeed. So we've lost that Bozzy boy. He will get 12th place. Even though you retire, you do still score points for where you finish at the end. John boy got I don't know if we could technically Gary, give Gary 13th. Gary technically started the race, I suppose. Yeah, he did te technically start Bryn. I think he's made a mistake because 
yeah. Fury is now right on the back. He is, John Boy. He's going to look up the inside into Brooklyn's and Fury takes that line once again, but just goes a little too deep. Now, don't forget what he said in the interview that McGann, front left, just starts to get a little warm towards the end of this race. So not only is Fury catching Bryn, but he's got John Boy coming with him as well. And Bryn could be under pressure. This could be a three-way battle and Fury having to defend for his life. We don't know what the Mercedes is like on its tyres, but we do know that the McGann does overheat towards the end of this race. So is this Fury's best chance? John Boy's best chance yes he's got his best chance I think his best chance is when he it's if and when Fury gets part goes for a move on Brim John Boy's got to be op, optimistic and try and go get the pair of them in once I think that's the only way because Fury is just going to play play oh John Boy for the for the six for the six minutes we have left but the more he keeps doing this the closer the Green McGann gets in the background. Yep, the Green McGann now four and a half seconds off of John Boy and Fury, and that blue and white McGann up front is getting closer to Fury's mirrors, and John Boy going to look up the inside now, can't get it done, nearly tapping the back of Fury's car, but Fury now has to contend with the blue and white McGann from in front, so it's now a three-way battle for fourth place at the moment, Bryn from Fury from John Boy, and John Boy here really needs to make a move, although Fury has now got to get past and clear Bryn in that blue McGann, and Bryn already do just look goes slightly more defensive than Fury and this is the territory that Fury was in race one when he was hunting down Nick the Villa and a smoky devil on the back of him but all get a good run through Cops corner and now towards Maggots and Beckett's Bryn from Fury. Fury goes to the outside and does that give John Boy an invitation? It has given John Boy an invitation to get up the inside. And Bryn, the mobile chicane, you could say. He's a little bit slower than these two, but John Boy side by side with Fury as they come down the way straight. Tucks back in behind now. Is he going to look for a move? That McGreen McGann in the background is now four seconds behind. It's gained half a second in a lap. John Boy backs out. Fury nearly into the back of Bryn. Cones fly everywhere. And here comes John Boy. A tap up the rear of Fury. Just pushes him a little wider. And they're all sat behind Bryn at the moment and Bryn is really the blockade in the road he is he's, jo he's got to be John Boy's best friend right now he, he, if John Boy wants to get past wants to get past um, Fury but Jay 3.4 behind you 4 minutes left he's going to be right on the back for Grand Santa oh Fury's Fury on the curb gets a little sideways John Boy has to avoid that one and takes a different route cameraman struggling to pick them up and John Boy has got past Fury and Bryn's made a mistake at Beckett's and that's allowed John Boy through he's managed to somehow recover and Fury's still behind but John Boy now has the run on Bryn down the Wellington straight within a lap Fury has lost a place John Boy sensibly tucks back into Bryn's slipstream here and Bryn now now it's Fury's best friend. Yeah, Bryn's, Bryn's going defensive. Fury's trying it around the outside, but it's not going to work. Oh! There is contact. A clatter there, and John Boy then does make his way through his door to door. Not bumper to bumper, and Bryn now has Fury in the background, and Jay is coming. Jay is coming. Let's jump to Bryn a second, because Fury has got to get this move done. John Boy, though, look at the speed of the McGann compared to the Mercedes. Bryn's coming back at John Boy. John Boy goes defensive. Bryn's got to look up the inside. Oh, oh that's naughty. Yeah, that's not... Not, not what I see. Jay, I don't think he's got through on Bryn. I... Oh, he has, and there's contact. Between yeah, Bryn was sideways there for some... Bryn was really sideways. And where's big Smoky? contact. Yeah, where's Smokey Devil in all of this? He's a long, long way back. He's got M. Plata on the back. Bryn continues on in seventh. But yeah, that's not, not what we want to say at all. It was a move that was never going to come off there. And Fury now gifted two places once again, you could say. Jay as well has been gifted a place or two. But that... Where there was a little naughty. Yeah, it looked like Bryn just tried to slam on the brakes, and it looked looked like he just had too much too much um, too much on the rear, and it spat him round. Yeah, it did as well. I wonder if he just put his foot down as he rejoined to spin around there. But Bryn down in seventh place, and we'll have Smoky Devil trying to catch him. Fury, J, John Boy. Now they've all changed places. John Boy's lost out two places in all that. Fury's gained a place and Jay's gained a place as well. In fact, Jay's gained two places because he's got past Bryn as well. Yeah. But it's still Cobb from Nick the Villa from Craig E. Them three have just been as quiet as you like out front. And Dan slowly chipping the time away to Smokey Devil within 15 seconds. Where is Smokey Devil on track? Smokey Devil right. is 
He, them for a while, so he's at so Beckett's he and Cobb is at Cops. Yeah. So for Dan here to get Smoky Devil, he needs Cobb in this next two minutes to lap Smoky Devil. He does. Jay's trying to trying to come back at Fury in the last minute minute and a bit. Is Jay Jay gonna try all all his might to try and get past get past Fury? To well, just gain those just to gain those championship points back. Well, at the minute, it's it does mean point. that Fury gains a few more points over Cobb. So Cobb's not going to gain as many points over Fury, should I say? Fury's going to have pulled some back in this race too. But if Jay gets on the back of him and Fury drops to fifth again, you know it's just more points that Cobb catches up to Fury. But also, Jay's in Jay's fourth in this championship fight, so we'll want to pass Fury to stay within touching distance himself. Yeah. A lot of work to do for Jay, but we'll have to see what happens. Cobb, though, for Dan, if Dan's to stay in this, Cobb really needs to lap Smokey Devil. Dan's now within 12 seconds of Smokey, but where is Smokey on the track? Smokey is... Wellington the... Straight, and there's and Cobb. There's, yeah, there's Cobb in the back. Dan's now so, 10 seconds to Smokey, so... We, Jay, Cobb's going to be starting Fury. this last lap here. Yeah, Cobb. Oh, Fury. Fury wipes out, yeah, Fury wipes out a marker. Cobb's going to be starting him. his last lap, which means Dan, Dan's going to be starting his last lap. So Dan needs to pray that Smoky Devil has a bit of a bad one if Dan is to gain on the back of Smoky Devil. That gap is now 11 seconds. 9.8, sorry. Apologies. Yeah, and Smoky Devil, Dan, I don't I think, think he's going to be lapped by Cobb here. No, I don't think, don't think he is. Jay still in the slipstream of, uh, of Fury. He's just not not close enough. But Fury's made up a little mistake there. Yeah, half right, the tyre's gone off. Jay's obviously driving a cracking race. You just see Fury locking up ever more, and look how slow he is. Cobb's actually lapped in the one minutes there, so that's not going to help Dan lap Smoky Devil at all. And Jay's got a mega run. Cobb's just come through. I think Cobb's on the Wellington straight. Now let's just cut to yes. Cobb a second because has Dan got back ahead of him? He has. So for Dan, a last chance here. Nick the Villa to the outside of Fury though, trying to cut underneath at Cobb's corner. Gets a good run through the corner though. This is their last lap of the race as well. We're going to have to cut back to Cobb in a moment. We'll just get through Maggots and Beckett's hopefully. As Cobb then has let Dan back through maybe but Cobb back to winning ways he's not won since round four and he's going to take another win here Cobb then your race winner Nick the Villa once again on the podium tonight a second place this time instead of the third Craig E fantastic drive for him for a P4 a P3 sorry fin finally finishing out the podium Jay, Jay has Fury. got Fury so Jay has got Fury in the end and that is crucial for not only Cobb but for Jay himself yeah, that's crucial for crucial for the championship. It's crucial. So it's crucial for everyone. Fury's now lost a few points. Fury flat, slashing the lights as he comes across the line. I didn't know whether that was because Jay might have run him out of it. Possibly so. Good. We'll have to see if anything comes in. John Boy will cross the line for P6. Bryn for a P7 in the end. With Smoky yeah. Devil gonna come home P8. Yeah, Dan. And Dan didn't get close enough. Down in ninth place. And you have to say for Dan that that has been a little unsuccessful night. Two, ele uh, uh, two ninth places for an orthodox end. Fastest lap of the race, 58.3 for Cobb. I think is the fastest lap looking at. 58.3. 58, 3, 3 two, one from Jay. So yeah. Jay takes the fastest lap. Jamie, get the uh, drivers in for a quick chat. Yep as I will sort out the championship tables and so 108 points left up for grabs and the championship still hotting up Cobb has brought the points back to within 8 points of him and Fury Jay now in third 39 back Dan is now 5th so Nick the Villa 
fourth place a point ahead of Dan which means Dan can run Brands Hatch without any 100 litres John Boy is in sixth with Craig East seventh Gary in eighth Smoky Devil down in ninth and Plava tenth Walshy eleventh Lucas Roth twelfth with DJ Phil thirteenth on the back of them Bryn up into fourteenth Master fifteenth Bozzy Boy sixteenth Monkey Boy eighteenth and Andy rounding out the final places there as we've got Cobbin do we have Craig or Nick the Villa in yet not quite sure. I don't think we've got... I think we've got Craig in. Yeah, we've got Craig in. So we'll start with Craig. Uh, Craig. Uh, decent decent race one with a P6, but a, a, another third place. Can't go wrong with that second race, can you? No, I'm pretty pleased with that. I was well off the pace of the McGann's again. Um, everybody just seemed to take each other out in front of us. So try to keep me tyres steady and... Uh, Hold it on the track. How was the Mercedes on its tyres? Because we heard from Fury and Smoky Devil saying that the McGann lost its front left. How was the Mercedes? Uh, front left, the same. Um, maybe it's held on a little bit better than the McGann's, uh, but it was starting to go pretty quick. Um, also, I was getting rather close on field towards that at the end there as well. Top seven now in the championship, just 14 points off the back of John Boy. Can you end it with a top six? Obviously, the way it's looking, you're probably going to be in that shootout for Knock Hill. Still giving yourself four more races. Can you can you get top six in this championship? I can try my best. So all I can do is try. Um, I know the Merck's nowhere near the pace of the McGann, so pushing hard every race, trying to keep up. Uh, so just try my best. Brands Hatch GP next week. What can you do around there? I'm normally all right. I'm, it's not the best track, but... I, I don't don't mind it. I like the track. Well, we wish you best luck, buddy, and uh, give him hell next week. I'll, I'll sharp try. Thanks very much, guys. See Cheers, you buddy. Week. We've got Cobb in as well. So we haven't got Nick the villain, so we will get to Cobb. And Cobb, we, we've not spoke to you for a race win for a while. That must be a better feeling after the, what happened in the first race. Yeah, yeah, I, th- I did what I wanted to do. So that was that, was, that, was that really. I sort of just thought, I've got to try and win or just get more points than Fury because <laughs> he had a pretty good race one. So, um, yeah, I just did what I needed to do. Eight points between you and Fury now in the championship. You're obviously both going to head off to Knock Hill in two weeks' time, but you've got Brands Hatch first. Do you feel that you can do the job over Fury at Brands? Well, I really do like brands anyway, but uh, I know Fury's just generally quick everywhere. So, uh, yeah, just looking looking forward to some close hard racing. Just uh, see how it goes, really. Like I say, I really enjoy brands hats, especially the GP uh, layout. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Fury seems to have the measure on you in qualifying with the 100 litres. Is that something that you've got to work on a little bit or...? I think I think it's more, I don't know I sort of I set my car up a lot for a race mm. so I think I, I let myself down a little bit in qualifying I think because yeah that's it's not the way I've always been but it just seems to be the way for the race I seem to be quite good on consistency but quite bad in qualifying <laughs> so, um, but you know I don't exactly make easy, things easy for myself but still it's uh, yeah happy with race two a bit disappointed with race one but that's racing so, yeah, yeah that is racing um, it's kind of becoming a bit of a two horse race Jay some 21 points off the back here now but this is touring cars yeah. anything can happen are you are you not counting Jay Nick the Villa and, and Dan out of this one yet or, or is your mind firmly set on Fury they're all they're all quality drivers you know they're all good and if anything happens to either one of us it could you know be flipped on his head if me and Fury both have a couple of mistakes he's in two races you know that's all it takes so um, just got to try and be consistent and try and finish finish by Fury well best of luck going into next week buddy yeah thanks guys well done cheers cheers buddy uh, Jamie final thoughts from yourself tonight and your driver of the day uh, driver of the day has got to go to Nick Novella two two podiums so so yeah driver of the day to him um, just been been a few too many incidents tonight back markers just get, getting in the way hopefully that can that can be um, forgotten about by by the time we get to get the brands hatch but yeah the last last round of the um, the 16 car championship next week we're in for in for in for a good one around brands hatch GP normally normally the um End of the season in the touring cars, but yeah, good rate, good racing tonight. Just, just people need to uh, just make make sure they get out of the way for lap cars.
Yeah, well, couldn't agree with you more. Bit of a longer circuit next week, so we might not see the back markers as much. But, yep, a few drivers, I think, need to just have a look at themselves tonight and, and, and question what uh, they've done out there on the track. I'm going to go Nick the Villa as well for driver of the day. Very good, solid night for him. Should have maybe been a win in race one, but, again, a solid podium in race two. Work to do for Dan, Fury and Jay and John Boy if they're to gain in this championship because Nick the Villa is starting to come on the top four and Cobb and Fury are starting to walk away with it. That's all we've got time for. Make sure you join myself and a special guest in the commentary box tomorrow night for Zolder in the Pro-Am where Little Each will be looking to get back to his winning ways or can the Dutch domination continue once again? Jamie Brazier and Dan Davis will be live in the commentary box Thursday night for the GT3 Pro around Zolder. Night race, the first night race for both Pro and Pro-Am this season. And we'll be back next Tuesday with Brands Hatch, excuse me, with Brands Hatch GP. But that's all we've got time for. Take care. Good night. Good night. <clears throat> I'm, I'm saying it now. We're penalising Liam. Yep, penalising Liam. We're penalising Bryn. Yep. Because that was that was on purpose. I'm telling you now. That was just that was bad. Yeah, that were that were bad. Although although it looked like he might have lost it under the he might have lost it under the he did move, he, he was moving under brake and, yeah. and, and he might I'm, get done for unsafe releases or poor. I'm telling you safe. now. I wait, it's hard to say about the rejoin. Was he still spinning? Um, but yeah. we'll have to have a look. At, I mean, it's probably just going to be penalty points because I, I don't feel a time penalty is going to benefit anybody in that. But we can have a look in case it does benefit Dan. Yeah. Um, or we'll say if Brin's right. Brin does do. Brin's actually possibly. Um, Liam can uh, get some penalty points for that. He finished last, so he can get a couple of penalty points for that. Um, but if I know Bryn, because John Boy would have tapped doors with him, if Bryn's in one of Bryn. his, if Bryn's in one of his moods, yeah, Bryn would just get 